Well, hail, what you have is, um, you know, you have with all the big raindrops up in the cloud, right? And then, you know, in, in a thunderstorm, you have up and down motion. Uh, and that's what makes the thunderstorm grow. And so what happens is when the updrafts, the air moving up in a, in, a, in a thunderstorm, they get those raindrops and they actually move them up into the cloud, right? The higher up it goes, the colder it is. And it gets to a point where it actually gets into, it goes below freezing temperature. When it goes below freezing, those raindrops start getting a coat of ice developing around it. So, and then they get kind of heavy because of the ice, you know, it makes them heavier. Then they start to come down. But then the updraft comes right back up and picks it back up again. And, it, and so it goes through a cycle where it goes back up above the freezing layer, gathers another coat of ice, goes down, gets, gets drawn back up, gets another coat of ice, and eventually you start getting, you know, you start to form a, a hailstorm. Now, when they get too big, then all of a the updrafts can't hold them anymore, and then they come down and they eventually make it down the road. Now, what happens is most of the time they actually melt before reaching the ground. But if they're big enough and they're up in the cloud, they'll, they're, they'll melt, but they'll still be big enough that when, when they hit the ground, there's still, you know, there'll still be some leftover you know, ice. Why is it? Why is it? Why does it seem like there's more hail, like in, like in, like? I live in Texas, like in the North Dallas and right. the Oklahoma belt, like in that belt up there, Kansas, Missouri. Why is there more hail? And is it because of the jet stream, or what is it? Dude? That's part of the reason. Part of the reason is the jet stream is usually located right over those areas, and that adds extra energy in the atmosphere. Also, the air above, you know, the air way up above is colder than that. You know, so in other words, the freezing level, if you will, is lower. So it doesn't. So it's so, so the raindrops are more frequently up there in that freezing layer, so they can get. It's easier for, for those. For the ice to kind of accumulate. Gotcha. Very good. What's your name? My name is Robert Moyeda, and I'm with the Weather Service Office in Miami. Thank you. You're welcome.